Bill Boat sails a delighted percent ocean freeway and Adam's 15 Cutlery Cruiser Racer. This boat really is excellent. Um, it's one of those boats that say there's a lot of wow factor in it. So it's been extended. You can see from the transom there, the step aboard, that's the extension. And as you go into the boat, there's a really high quality fit out uh, throughout. So a very nice mix of uh, white um, and then uh, timber trims and very, very nice um, timbers too. There's some human pine and others amongst them. The boat was originally launched to compete in the 1988 around Australia race which it uh, successfully completed and then has done uh, many many shorthanded races since then uh, a couple of Melbourne Osakas, it's done Sydney Hobarts, Launceston Hobarts, Melbourne Launceston and so on and so on so it's been uh, a very well um, uh, competed boat shall we say uh, but there's no sign of um, heavy racing stress when you uh, go on board the boat uh, the current owner is uh, quite fastidious and uh, in recent times, um, and I'll just quickly uh, read it, new 2021 standing rigging, new 2021 Doyle Stratus mainsail, um, another Doyle Stratus furling headsail two years ago, uh, top size professionally reached by VHF radio, so all in, in very recent times, so that's indicative of the level of um, care and uh, maintenance this owner's bestowed on the boat. We think it is really quite an exceptional vessel, um, apart from its obvious racing heritage and the potential to do more and it certainly fits the emerging two-handed division uh, that's showing a lot of strength um, in uh, serious offshore racing this boat's ideally set up for all that and has obviously competed successfully as a two-handed racer too um, electronics are all good the boat's got liverboard potential uh, it's got excellent cruising potential um, so it really is a very very complete uh, package uh, the boat's very well powered, I should say, by a 43 horsepower Volvo, Volvo diesel and that provides very, very good uh, motoring speeds around 6 to 7 knots. I mean, it's obviously a very easily driven boat. Um, Adam's designs are uh, renowned for their, um, their performance characteristics but also the fact that they're very easily driven through the water. The other thing I've got to say too is that this boat has a lifting centre board and uh, that's certainly uh, uh, is an immense benefit if cruising, uh, particularly in northern uh, Australia and uh, into more shallow uh, locations. Great cockpit as you can see, excellent hard dodger and I really think this adds to the lines of the boat. It certainly is an attractive um, addition and uh, as you can see there all the gear leads are good quality um, fittings too, good quality winches and everything as you'd expect with a boat of this quality. Uh, certainly easy to get around the boat, nice wide side decks. Um, you can see the way uh, the uh, Genoa tracks are set there. Um, lots of options to get the right shooting angles for the right headsails and so on. Uh, it's a cutter rig and uh, twin furling headsails. So uh, certainly that provides um, those cruising options when necessary. In summary, as I've said before, this boat offers plenty of great options. Um, it's a fast passage maker, serious cruiser, ideal liveaboard do some serious offshore racing and as I say it fits the emerging two-handed division uh, criteria uh, very very well. So very well maintained boat, great package, uh, we're very very pleased to offer Ocean Freeway for sale.